what is good everybody man just want to give a quick quick testimony real quick uh man something just amazing just happened to my man so proud of you bro so without giving too much information exactly um but yesterday i was in my man's crib i wanted to go pick up a package that he got for me and you know we chopping over we talking man you know and you know he's like my little brother like he's that family when i mean family this is this is family and so we chopping it up and he's telling he's telling me and showing me this new major purchase that he that he just purchased that he just got and this is something that he's been saying for a couple of years now that he was going to get and he finally got it man i am so proud of this dude man i'm so proud of you bro um it brought joy in my heart so he's showing me and we're talking or whatever and you know he started telling me he's like you know you know he has a little you know so a little bit of concerns a little doubt this is somebody who one of the smartest people that i know crosses all his t's dot all his eyes everything um the dude is he's he's just he's a brilliant guy man um i love this dude but sometimes what happens is when god gives us a gift the enemy wants to creep in and put this seed of doubt in our mind and so he started having like just you know just a little bit of concerns and doubts because such a major purchase and there's a couple of things that he is um waiting to be to line up or to be aligned um for him without giving too much information um that he's waiting on just to kind of like i guess make him feel a little bit more a little safety net a little bit a little bit of cushion i guess you could say and so i told him i told him I was like listen god is not going to give you a gift just for you to lose it god's not going to put you in a position for you to fail if god has given you this it is yours nobody can take it you know what i'm saying and he was like yo you're right you're right you're right i was like yo you ain't got nothing to worry about man because it's something he's waiting for like i said to kind of you know like basically this contract um he's waiting to get and around this time it's kind of hard to get certain contracts because you know it's towards the end of the year most companies they wait till the beginning of the year to kind of not only hire but maybe to even contract people and i told him like yo you're going to be good you got nothing to worry about man this is god's gift so you're good and so this morning me him, my cousin were in a group chat we chopping it up or whatever through the group chat as always and he was like yo he's like yo jeff yo b you're not gonna believe this man he's like yo jeff you said something to me yesterday last night that made my spirit alive you know what i'm saying when you told me that that if god gives you something he's not going to take it away he said tim why this morning i get a rare phone call for a contract position to start in december and he was like, yo, man, I, I he couldn't even believe it. And I told him, I was like, yo, you see, this is the beauty of God. Like, like I literally told him last night, God is not going to give you something just to take it away. He's going to take care of you. Got nothing to worry about. And just look what happened. And so I wanted to share this because it's a lot of times, man, we could pray for something, receive something from God. And it could be whether if it's something we've been praying for. It could be a new spouse or a spouse. It could be a new home, a new job, career, whatever it is. And the seed of doubt will get planted into our mind by Satan and make it seem like we're going to lose what God has given us. This spouse that you've been praying for that you have now, he or she's not going to love you like that. Um, this new career, this new job that you got, this new position, you're going to fail. They're going to fire you. You're not going to last. Right? Um, this new home that you purchased or this new car, you're going to lose it. You're going to go to foreclosure. It's going to get repossessed. You ain't going to be able to maintain it. Like, it's it's doubt. It's fear. And Satan loves nothing better because he can't take away what God has given us. But he can make us drop it. Make it seem that we're not worthy of this. We're not going to be able to maintain it or be able to handle it. But as God gives you a gift, God is not an Indian giver. He's not going to take it away. God does not give us the spirit of fear. But the but he gives us the power and love and a sound mind. So we always have to remember that. And the other thing is the, the, the power in our words. You know what I'm saying? I told him something yesterday and it was just casually. But it's also truth because not only aligns with scripture, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? But what it does too is it's 
people say this all the time and it's, it's, it's become li literally a running joke anybody knows knows me knows this my wife says all the time my man anthony so many people my man eddie they're like yo when jeff say something yo i get nervous in a good way because it's like yo this guy be 10 out, they call me 10 out of 10 because i'd be so on point what i'm saying because it comes to light truth you know what i'm saying it takes place and i say all the time it's like yo it's not me it's god it's because i'm guided by the holy spirit i just trust what god is revealing to me and i'm not no prophet you know what i'm saying i am not a prophet but i just trust in what god reveals and tells me i just relay the message that's all it is i'm just a middleman i just relay the message and that's it and so i could i can have the ultimate confidence and trust when i say something to somebody that i know that it's going to take place and that's all it really is man it's having you know not only understanding the word of god and 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 the wisdom and the power of god but it's trusting in it you know what i'm saying having spiritual faith not human faith not trusting in the circumstances around me or around us but just the power of god and the faith of god and what he continues to do because he does this all day every day so i just wanted just to share that and that um this this not this this is something that's not only for him but this is for everybody what 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 my man just experienced and and what god has shown him this is something that can easily be given to you you know what i'm saying and um yeah i just wanted to share that real quick man just wanted to share that i just had to sorry this video is a little long but i had to share this man you know, I hope you have a blessed and amazing Friday. And of course, as always, one love.